Your home is more than a blank page. It's an opportunity. You've thought about it a lot. Maybe remodeling your bathroom, adding that extra living space, new tile in the kitchen, finishing that basement. To get these jobs done, you need a professional. You need someone who can fill in the blanks. You need Makeover Construction. Call Makeover Construction at 443-744-3544 or visit us on the web at makeoverconstruction.com. Welcome back to Money Morning. My name's Eric Stewart. And I'm Paul Robinson. We're here with Anna Custer. She is from Live Baltimore. We were just talking during the break about folks that might have uh, some credit challenges or mm -hmm. folks that are homeowners currently that may have uh, foreclosure issues they're facing. There's a lot of that right now in the market. What does Live Baltimore do when someone calls with those kind of concerns? Right. Well, Eric, the first thing that we try to tell people to do is to really look into homeownership counseling. Mm -hmm. We do not do homeownership counseling on site. We really refer to the agencies throughout the city who do that. So we have a whole list that we would give people depending on where they live or work and where they want to go. And then we also um, do offer some education just one-on-one -on -one from our staff standpoint. So they'll talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, kind of figure out where they are in their home buying process or in their home renting issues because we do both home buying and home renting. So when, um, when should a person come to Live Baltimore. Sure. Well, we have people that are in all phases. Some people are just looking to move into the city and they're not really sure about where to do, so they'll call us or they'll mm -hmm. check out our website. And our website is www.livebaltimore.com. Uh, we get 40,000 unique visitors every month to our website. People will come into us whether they're just starting to look in the city and they need information about neighborhoods, mm -hmm. whether they've done some of their research and background and they're trying to figure out how a certain incentive program works, or whether they're ready to find a lender or a real estate agent and they're not sure where to start because there's so many across the city so mm -hmm. they come to us for those main referrals so um, there's a there's a lot of money available in the city mm -hmm. to assist uh, potential homeowners with um, buying homes um, is live Baltimore um, involved with any of those city programs? Right. Well, what we do is promote the program. Okay. So we don't deal with any of the money, and I'm happy about that. Because <laughs> as you guys know, there's a little bit of like rules and A, B, yeah. C, and D for every pot of money that you have. Mm -hmm. But one of the programs that we do have is something called Buying Into Baltimore. And that's a twice annual home ownership education program that we do. The next one is coming up on May 10th. It's a West Side program. So anything that's Charles Street West, we highlight. And what can happen is if you participate in the Buying Into Baltimore program, you could get three thousand dollars toward your home purchase wow yeah and what do they have to do to to qualify for that there's a couple of rules yeah, as what always are, what, are, right? what are your a b <laughs> a b and c well a is they should take a home buying education course mm -hmm. that home buyer counseling program that we talk about is so important because it can talk to you about credit, how much you can afford. You know, you don't want to look at a $300,000 house if you can really afford a $150,000 house because it just gets you all wrapped up into yeah. false expectations. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go through the home ownership counseling class and do you're going to get that? that certificate. That's where the agencies come in. Okay. And there's okay. 16 different agencies across the region and we um, refer out to those. Then you are going to come to our actual program, the Buying Into Baltimore program on May 10th. Um, it takes place at Poly, one okay. of the high schools, and we actually run you through different tours of the city, through different neighborhoods. You get your little ticket stamped. We've got like a little bus ticket that you need to get stamped that mm -hmm. proves that you've actually gone on the tour. And then you take your sales contract to the city home ownership agency or office and you get it signed. Um, so you have your homeownership counseling certificate, you have your proof that you participate in the buying in the Baltimore tour, and then you take your sales contract that's signed, you and the person you're buying it from, and you take it to the home ownership office on uh, 417 East Fayette. And as long as you're one of the first 50 people who do that, mm -hmm and your home is under $417,000, you can get the $3,000 grant in order to buy your home. Now, is that $417,000 number going to change? Because Fannie Mae just recently uh, increased their limits. Mm -hmm. so. But their non-conforming limit is still $417,000. So that's what we're keeping that number at. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about the average housing price in the city being $183,000, yeah. yeah. there's a lot you can buy. Gives you plenty of room. Yeah. Now, and the understanding is, honestly, if you can afford a $400,000 house, <laughs> $3,000 <laughs> could be used to folks that could really, really use yeah, the assistance. Um, now, is this one of those uh, loans that 
is uh, completely, is it a loan or is it a grant? Is it still tied to the house? <clears throat> it's called a forgivable loan. Okay. So as long as you stay in the house for four years, you see it go down every year Incremental. until it disappears. Okay. Okay. So the idea is that we want to award home ownership. We mm -hmm. don't want someone getting the money, coming in, doing something in the house, flipping it, uh -huh. as we've seen years ago, right. and then taking the money and running. Mm -hmm. So this way we have folks that are committed to home ownership. As long as they're staying in the house four to five years, then they don't have to worry about it. It goes away and um, you're ready to go. Now, now you, can't, you can refinance your house during that time, um, but as long as it's for, um, improvements to the home. Mm -hmm. You can't refinance in order to take that vacation to Jamaica. Okay. All right, it's gotta be about home ownership. Okay, got you. So you will subordinate that lien if someone wants to refinance and they wanna do repairs or, or renovations. That's right. Very nice, mm -hmm. and that's unique because a lot of folks um, end up taking um, home ownership assistance to get into a home for closing costs, and what happens is they wanna refinance in a couple of years and that lien steps in and says, we want our money first. Right, they don't get to enjoy you know, the normal uh, appreciation rate of, uh, of homes. So mm -hmm. that, that's, that's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just want to ask before the break, mm -hmm. this fair is going to be huge. You, yes. you all have had them in the past. They always get a lot. I just wonder, how do you cart so many people around to the different homes? <laughs> Are you in a partnership with the MTA or what? How do you get oh, them all Oh, we pay for around? buses. We have a bus company that we use that's been absolutely great. And we actually have, because we've done this for so many years, kind of a pattern of doing uh -huh. this. So if people come, we will get them on a bus that day. We will make sure they're taken care of so they can see those homes. Now, when we come back from the break, I know you, you have to have seen a lot of uh, increased interest with regards to BRAC coming in. Right. Um, and, and that's gonna be a huge infusion of, of new people, new jobs. It's gonna be a great stimulus to the economy. So I wanna you know, try to see what you guys are doing with regards to that. Sure. And the biotech. So when we come back, we'll talk all about those things. And uh, we'll see you right after the break. My name's Eric Stewart. And I'm Paul Robinson. We'll see you in a minute.